Lit lovers, welcome back to my channel, Crown Brown Books with me, T. Thank you to all of you who have already subscribed. I'm feeling myself even more and more as the weeks go by. We are now up to 50 subscribers. That's three subscribers up since Sunday. So thank you for sharing. Thank you all for subscribing. Please continue to do so so that we can enjoy more literature, more books. This is Lit York City. This is Crown Brown Books, the more the merrier. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your neighbor, tell a coworker, tell a hater. You gotta tell everybody. You gotta share all day, every day, okay? So today's video is strictly about what's actual and factual. Yes, it's nonfiction November. So I'm gonna share some recommendations. I'm gonna share what I'm reading, share some things professional and personal, and things for the little ones as well. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. The first book up I'm going to share is Great Speeches by African Americans. This book I would highly recommend. I have read this book more than once. I've read it a few times actually. I've shared it with colleagues during my coaching sessions. I've shared it with friends, with students and families as well. This book is a special book because it highlights a number of great people who have paved the way, people who have made great strides, and people who have sacrificed blood, sweat, and tears, their family, their pride, everything that they know and love so that we can have the opportunities that we have today. People such as Dr. Martin Luther King, we have Marcus Garvey in here, one of my favorites, Thurgood Marshall, the great lawyer. I love him. If you haven't had a chance to see the biopic that came out, I believe it was about two or three years ago. Check that out. Beautiful movie. Um, Mary McLeod Bethune. I love her dearly. Her backstory, the way she paved the way, the way she just encouraged education. You, a huge university named after her. Some A place that I plan to visit. That is a place on my bucket list. I have to. Next up, we have the great former president, Barack Obama. This book, from the beginning to the end, it highlights leaders that came before him, leaders that have paved the way, leaders that he studied under, that he admired. The book shows his life from his days in Hawaii to his college days, moving forward to transitioning and becoming president and stepping foot in the White House as the very first and honorable black president. So this book is very good and I would highly recommend this book because for children, sometimes they're really not into the nonfiction, even teenagers, um, if it's not something that they're interested in themselves, a lot of times things like history and people of the past or people that they don't see um, every day, they're not really into it. But I like this book because almost every page has a picture and the pictures are colored pictures. The timeline in this book is everything. So I do recommend this book to anyone if you just want to have it in your home. The, the books like these are valuable for our brown bookshelves. It's valuable so that we know and we can teach the younger ones and even some of the older ones today that nothing is impossible. And while we're on uh, former President Obama, today is the release of his new memoir. So this book and his new memoir, let's check it out. And the new memoir is called A Promised Land. Yeah, a promised land. So we need to support, we want to support. And for many of you who believe that he didn't do much for us, he did. You just have to take the time and do your research. But again, highly recommended book. Um, family pictures, pictures of him when he was small. And of course, all the pictures are in color. A picture on almost every page, if not every page. So. Great book, great read. Add it to your stash, to your collection, to your brown bookshelf. Up 
next, we have the book titled Push Out. Now, this book I haven't read yet. I just purchased it uh, a few weeks ago. I haven't read it yet. Um, but I know it's going to be one of those books that is going to trigger my thinking. I purchased the book simply because I worked with teens in the juvenile justice system. So I have some background experience and knowledge with teenage boys and girls who faced from small time in prison, detention centers to football number years for many different reasons. But this book is talking about the oppression and indictment of history, of culture, tradition, race, and gender on the black female. It also goes on to discuss the policies and practices used by the government to really attack the young female, to oppress their development, their growth, and to hinder them from being greater than what they are, even the ones who have no record. Who Another brown book, we have Cast by Isabel Wilkinson. Remember in the previous few videos, I discussed how this is the current reading for the book club that I'm a member of. This is what we're reading now. This is a heavy book, y'all, like really deep. It's heavy. The author, she just dives deep into the history of the class versus caste system. Yes, the caste system, the systems that are built to divide race, gender, religions within a culture, within a race. Um, she also goes on to discuss things that are happening today that have happened years ago. For example, pandemics of the past, pandemics that, you know, the swine flu and all of the other pandemics that have taken out hundreds of thousands of people and how it's relative to the current pandemic, COVID-19, that we're experiencing today deep when i say deep this is deep and um she touches on former presidents the government and of course race division culture traditions and i had to put this book down several times pick it back up because sometimes things get so deep that you get emotional or it starts taking you into a different level of thinking and wondering and assuming so it was it hasn't been an easy read it's a very informative read i can definitely say like my words are all over the place because this book will definitely have you your emotions just shifting your thoughts shifting and your feelings in its deepest bag so cast we are in the early stages of the book our next meeting is this weekend so this is another book along with push out i will definitely have a full review when i am done so look forward to that sometime i want to say maybe the end of december right before the new year i will try to bust this out it's a thick book and i am currently reading a number of books so bear with me Next up, we have a book all about, you should be able to tell, basketball. That's right. For all of you basketball lovers such as myself, a sport that I dibble dabbled in in high school and afterward. So it is basketball season and we appreciate the sport. Good old sport, clean sport. We love This lovely book teaches us how to be a basketball star. It teaches us everything basketball. NBA versus WNBA, how we do a good old dribble, how we rebound, how we assist, how we defend our opponent. You know, like this book is good. It teaches skills. It teaches us how to stretch, how to warm up before practice or before the big game. I mean, everything you need for the younger ones, for the babies who want to have their little ball and for the bigger ones who got the handles and making those big old buckets 
This book is all for them. Pick it up. This book is a few, a number of years old, but I'm sure the information remains the same. And I'm sure there's always an updated book. So this is the book. I don't know why I keep doing this like it's a ball. <laughs> but this is the book. Again, NBA to WNBA, the men's basketball and the women's basketball, of course. Big old pictures. And it gives you the posture, the stance, how you defend, what your body should look like, what your pose should look like. Here's the great Dennis Rodman. You know I'm rocking a New York Knicks jersey. We are losing team right now, but it's all good. We're going to be back up there soon, hopefully. <laughs> and on the cover, we have the great Tim Hardaway, Shaq. Uh, who else is on the cover? We have Michael Jordan. The kids will wear the sneakers and don't even know what the man looked like. Yeah, make it make sense. So this is a good book. I mean, everything from coaching. Coach. That, look at that, look at that. This, a, a nice book. This actual factual. Here you go, younger ones, for the boys and the girls. Because, yes, we have female basketball players. If you're young daughter or family members into basketball, hey, encourage it. You know, motivate them she might get a nice old scholarship to a nice school maybe a d1 d2 school take her through college help her with all of that college tuition that we do not care for let me lighten up the load a little bit i know a number of those uh black books they were historic very strong books very powerful books so i'm going to jump into some books right now for the younger ones, some colorful books, some books that we all can think about with, <laughs> without the deep thoughts. So this book here is Bugs A through Z. And don't think like, oh, it's Nancy who wants to read about bugs. No, there's all types of bugs, local and foreign. We have our ladybugs in here that are beautiful and pretty red with the black polka dots. We have some butterflies in here. We have all sorts of other cute little bugs that's in here. Katie digs and the book is cute. I love how colorful this book is and this book is also good for teaching the young ones or just trying to test them out with letter recognition. So you would say, oh, what's this? You know, what's that letter? And you say, oh, the letter F, what sound does it make? You know, that's all things literacy, the building blocks to reading. And look at this cute caterpillar, pardon very cute very green i mean these are bugs that we see all through the year some in the summer some in the winter oh the bees yeah so let's look out cute book and this is for many of our science lovers our bug animal lovers because it also shows you know some animals this is what they live off of bugs they eat bugs next up we have Fire trucks, all things fire trucks, how firemen go about starting a job once they are called, the equipment they need, the tools they need, the response time, who's there, how they go about putting all the equipment together to get the fire out. And we love the fire station. I remember being young and going to the fire station for school trips. Whenever I see fire trucks to this day, sometimes I still wave at them because yes, they are one of our best first responders. And when I'm in the street, what do you see? Kids pointing to the big red truck that makes all the noise and has all the lights and you see the firefighters waving. I mean, most of them are not as friendly as they used to be back in the day, but it is what it is. We still love them and we appreciate the work that they do because we know for sure if we smell something or something is going up in flames, who we calling? Yes, we're going to call them. And this book has big, beautiful pictures for the younger ones. This is, book is for like our early readers, just big, lovely pictures. So if you have a little one that's into fire trucks or wants to be a fireman, when they get older, if that's their goal, I highly recommend this book. They would enjoy it. It's a cute, quick read. 
something you could keep on the shelf and they will enjoy it. Next up, something that my family does as often as we can and that's playing games. <laughs> I really like this book. It's a quick read. It talks about video games, games outside, outdoor games, indoor games, games that you can play in a group, board games, video games, all types of games. This book is a good book. Family games, individual games, it's all here. Nice, quick, simple read. Simple read. Outdoor games. Love it. And this is one thing that I also love about this time of the year. My family, we all get together. We get together a lot. But, you know, sometimes you see some just during the holidays. You may speak to them over the phone. And, yes, we always have games going, multiple games going. It could be Taboo, Pictionary. We love Scrabble, Uno, Trouble for the Kids. Um, what's the other one? Headbands you put on your head and you have to guess the picture. Like when holidays come around, my family, we don't play. We pack out my grandmother's living room. We're eating, playing games at the same time. So yes, we love it. And it's something that we do for every holiday or every time we get together, we do as much as we can. Round games, some good old hopscotch, some good old jumping rope. So I would recommend that. Just something that you can relate to, something that you can enjoy. Last but not least, I had to include this book due to the fact that, again, we are coming up on the holidays. Next week is Thanksgiving. And what do we do for Thanksgiving and Christmas and all of the other Diwali, all of the other holidays that are approaching? Yes, we cook, we eat. Some of us do not cook, some of us order, but that's okay, we're eating. Someone is cooking, and the title of this book is I'm a Chef, and in this book, they, they're cooking everything. Quick fun fact, this book taught me how to make guacamole. Yes, that's the first thing in this book it did. It taught me how to make guacamole. The kids love it, they're making chicken and rice in this book, they're making um cookies and sandwiches they're doing a little bit of everything anything you think of well in a category i'm not going to say a little bit of everything and various categories pastries food um finger food dinner food so yes this is a nice book and it's nice look at the young boy on the book some of us have little ones relatives that they want to get their hands dirty they want to help you slice and dice and if they can't maybe you can tell them you know what help me wash off the carrots help me wash the greens help me wash the tomatoes or the potatoes give them something to do and let them create their own little apron you don't have to go out and buy an apron they can just strip an old shirt tie it around their neck make it seem like they are a chef, make a little hat like the little boy on the book. I mean, enjoy. Let this time of year be a time of fun. You all enjoyed all of my 10 recommendations. Yes, I gave you 10. I gave you nine books and the one book that comes out today, A Promised Land by that former president Barack Obama's latest memoir. Remember, let's continue to support each other. Let's continue to build our brown shelves. Let's continue to read. Everything's lit. We have to increase our lit life. We have to remain as lit, strong, and lit aware as we can. So that being said, let me know which books you may think may resonate with you let me know what books that you maybe you've read some of these drop down in the comments because a lot of you are watching and you're watching the full video which i totally appreciate because i keep track of the video analytics analytics but the comments are like non-existent so please don't be shy it's not gonna hurt just drop a comment if you like a book, if a book sounds interesting, if you heard about the book, let me know. Let's share. Let's talk. Everything lit. Everything, all things literature. Let's talk about it. Maybe it's a book that's similar to one of these books. You can recommend a book to me that you may think I'll enjoy based on what I've shared with you today. Remember, tell a friend and tell a friend.
Tell your neighbor. Yes, tell a coworker. Of course, tell a stranger. And you better tell a hater that everything's lit over here at Crown Brown Bucks. Continue to turn with me. Continue to turn with us. It's never too late to turn. It's never too early to turn. Until the next video.